Let's try that again. <laughs> That it was, was insane. Yeah, it's been very windy this morning in Tallinn. It's been so uh, dang yesterday, annoying. Yesterday, these past two days yeah. have been nuts. But anyways, we are leaving Tallinn today. We had an awesome week or week and a half. How long were we here? I can't remember. Yeah, like a week and a half. <laughs> Seems like it's been forever. Yeah. But we parted ways with the way away this morning, sadly. And don't worry. I think there will be some more meeting up with them and Kara and Nate soon. So stay tuned for yeah, that. Definitely. But we are on our way to Budapest, um, which we are very excited about because Budapest is one of our favorite cities. But we're going to do a stopover back in Riga for a couple hours, then on to Budapest. It should be a pretty easy day. We're at the airport early, although classic, we have not had any food. So I think that'll be our first mission. So we more or less breezed through security. I always like to report on all the weird stuff that happens in security. <laughs> but uh, I had a water bottle, my uh, filter bottle full of water. And the guy was like, well, you just put it in there. And then it goes through. And then of course on the other end, they're like, oh, you got liquids, man. I'm like, well, he told me to put it in there. <laughs> There's always some goofy little thing that happens. You can yeah. never just like really breeze through. No, they inspected a lot of stuff in this one, but they let everything go through. They just dumped yeah. out his water and it was okay. And they were all pretty nice too. Nikita had some sardines and some yeah. peanut butter that he's been lugging around that uh, they confiscated. Yeah, it was gonna be my snack. Sardines with peanut butter is delicious. And... <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> we found ourselves a little sandwich shop and I got myself a little sandwich with some salami. What are we, I, don't, I have no idea what this bread is, but it's got a bunch of seeds on it. And of course, a mountain of cheese. It's pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. What did you end up getting here? I got a little veggie stir fry. It's smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. It looks yeah. pretty good. But this was um, six euro fifty, right? Yeah. yeah. Not not a bad deal. Yeah. Mine, on the other hand, was about four euros. And Nikita went to Subway and got himself oh, yeah. a foot long. He might have made the best choice. <laughs> I'm pretty fresh. jealous. We have a sweet travel hack for you guys. We have been spending way too much money buying coffees and lattes and things like that. So instead, we've been traveling around with some like uh, instant pre-made coffee, which it really isn't all that bad. And uh, we just came up with this great idea here at the airport because the lattes were like four euro and we were like, oh, we really want a latte, but we don't want to pay for it. So instead, we just ordered up some uh, steamed milk and they charged us like a euro 50 for it. So we got three of those and then we just kind of put our instant coffee in it and made ourselves our own little lattes. So check it, it out. <laughs> Brilliant and Dirt beautiful. Cheap latte. Yes. Yeah. You got two spoons. Oh, double spoon in it. It's pretty good. We could probably make them a little stronger though. By the way, I wanted to ask you guys a quick question. We're always like reluctant to vlog our travel days just because um, we feel like they're a little mundane and it's just kind of hard to do. And we didn't know if they're just like boring for you guys. So what we wanted to do was make a poll and there's gonna be a poll on the card here somewhere because I think you can kind of integrate them into YouTube but it's gonna ask whether or not you guys enjoy the travel days, want to see those, or if you don't want to see those. So, respond to that poll so we know whether or not we should keep doing this. This gate is really funny. It's just like this communal couch over here. <laughs> this whole airport is pretty awesome. It must be brand new. Yeah, it's really quirky. It's got a lot of stuff going on. I like it. plane has arrived and it's actually a propeller airplane which I don't think we've flown in a long time. A Nikita, have you ever flown? No, this is my like first that? time. I've never been on a prop plane so I'm pretty excited. But it's also a very tiny plane and uh, I'm skeptical whether or not our bags are going to properly fit on it because it's, it's looking pretty big. I got a lot of stuff crammed in there. <laughs> yeah, oopsie. Yours actually looks slimmer than mine. Dang. Yeah, look at me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This guy is coming in very hot. <laughs> this plane is shaking all over the place. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez. We landed in Riga. It was a little bit of a rough landing. Oh my god, we hit! Yeah, he actually bounced. Bounced up I don't think I've ever been on a plane that bounced like that. No, I had to do one of my ginger chews because I got. We were just coming in like this all over the place. But we made it. Hooray! We have a captain and there is the team. 
Thank you for choosing to fly the Thunderbolt. Thank you. Here's been a pleasure having you on board. I pulled all my stuff out of the overhead bin, and it's a, a bunch of it's all wet. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. But I smelled it, and it smells, it doesn't have much of an odor, so I think it's just water. Now Eric just took his bag off. Yeah, I'm all He's wet now. But look at that. Look. Oh no! It's all wet, and then my bag got all wet, my hoodie. Managed to get the vlog uploaded, which is always great, Ooh. but I uh, can't, I'm not ready to post it yet, so I think it's gonna be a little bit late, but better late than never. So our flight is leaving in about 30 minutes. We figured it's probably a smart idea to head over there a little bit ahead of time. Also, we need to grab a little snack. Yes. So I'm very hungry. Always the important thing in the day. Food, food, food. I got a sausage roll just because it was three euro 30. It actually looked pretty good. So I'm guessing there's a big old fat sausage in there <laughs> waiting for me. Just the way you like it. There is a big old fat sausage in there, but I didn't get any of it. <laughs> Oh, nice save. Grab that guy. I'm gonna drop some of my bread, you know? Oh no, his that, little cap. That would have been a catastrophe. Our flight ended up getting a little bit delayed, but we are headed to the plane now, and then on our way to Booty. Booty Pest. <laughs> <laughs> See you when we get there. Thank you for attention. We've arrived in Budapest, but now we have to ride the tiny little bus up to the actual airport. And we have to pee. <laughs> we have to pee really bad, you guys. Yeah, pro tip, if you get alcohol on a plane, use the restroom before you land. Yeah. You feel better now? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Although, I gotta tell you guys, being with all this stuff on, it's not very easy as a lady. You don't take all that off? Where would I even put it? I don't know. I have to like. <laughs> wow. So I'll you're literally just like squanching down with all that stuff on. Yeah. I'm trying to get these pants back up with all this stuff. That's on. impressive. <laughs> 200E. This is our bus, y'all. That's the one. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> have a short walk to our Airbnb and we have to walk through the creepiest tunnel ever <laughs> but it's nice and lit up at least yeah. and it doesn't smell bad so that's nice yeah. it's pretty surprising yeah it's not bad as far as tunnels go <laughs> we've arrived at our Airbnb yeah, yeah. and we're just getting kind of a tour it's got kind of a western theme we're gonna have to give you guys a proper tour in the next video though when it's like proper light out this is so, very sweet what you see here is good for you guys oh, oh nice okay. All Actually, right. there's a wine store at the corner, which is one of the best wine stores, I think, because you have wines from all Hungarian wine regions, oh, which amazing. is about 16, so... Wow. All right, we've managed to get all settled in. Um, we also figured out that there is a new season of Narcos out, finally. So we are going to be watching that starting right meow. God, how are we ever going to sleep? We're going to have to watch it all. I don't know, man. This might be dangerous. Yeah. If you guys have never seen Narcos, go watch it right now, because it's an absolutely amazing series. But we went to an, the one restaurant that was open, which happened to be an Indian restaurant, and their food is amazing. I got Alu Gubi, which is, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I've never gotten it before. But it's a bunch of cauliflower and potatoes all mixed up in this curry. Real good. And what did you go with? The, well, the sog, the spinach. And I can't remember, it was their, like, specialty, I can't remember. But mostly it's just pureed spinach yeah. with onions and all kinds of seasoning. I'm not gonna say it looks that appetizing, but <laughs> it looks I'm, really I'm gonna have to try green. it. <laughs> I usually, I feel like I normally have veggies or meat in it, and this yeah. doesn't have any of that, but that's okay. Anyways, our plan here in Budapest is to, uh, we're only gonna make a few videos because we're a bit behind on our videos, quite a bit behind actually. Mm -hmm. So we need to get a little bit of work done and film a little bit less so we can kind of catch up. 
uh, but we are going to show you this city a bit and it's going to be awesome because it is one of our favorite cities. Yes, we came here once before, but we didn't get to do everything. So we have some pretty fun stuff in store and of course some delicious adventures ahead. Mm -hmm. But for now, it's dinner and a movie time. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.